And Secretary of State Alison Lundgren Grimes expects 30 percent of Kentucky's three plus million registered voters to cast a ballot in today's primary election. That is projected to be the highest turnout in close to 10 years. Two of the big races in Lexington are open seats for, of course, our city's mayor. And today's Democratic primary for Kentucky's sixth congressional district. Voters in Lexington will choose among seven different candidates today for mayor. It is a packed ballot. The candidates are making their final push to get your vote. LAX 18's Carolina Buchek joins us now live with details on the mayoral race. Seven candidates all want the chance to lead this city, but only two of them will make it to the November election. So today's votes will really narrow down the candidates. And for months now, they've all been campaigning. They really differ. They have different opinions on what needs to be done in the city and how to tackle the problems that it's facing. But it all comes down to today, and that's why they are pushing voters to go out there and vote. Seven candidates all vying for one job, mayor of Lexington. But as of tonight, only two will move on and be one step closer. For one of the candidates, Teresa Isaac, the job of mayor would be one she already had. Well, so many people asked me to run again that I decided to offer myself for service again. So I hope we have a good victory today. Another candidate, Linda Gorton, also comes with experience as vice mayor and council member. She hopes people remember her transparency. And they respect the way I operate, which is from a base of people and integrity and the, the things that people want in their elected officials. Then there's Ronnie Bastin, former Lexington police chief. He believes that will give him an advantage when it comes to tackling crime problems in the city. One of the key issues we need to address very quickly is crime and opioids and school safety. Those are issues that I feel very, uh, very comfortable with. I've spent a lifetime dealing with those. I won't have to have a learning curve. I can start day one. Also on the ballot is Kevin Stinnett, who wants to keep doing the work he's done as a council member. I want to keep getting things done for the neighborhoods that I started this with 14 years ago. I want to do it for all neighborhoods in Lexington. I want to do it for our children and for our businesses who create 85% of our revenue for the city. Coming with little experience is Ike Lawrence, who sees his new involvement as a positive. Uh, lots of signs are out and uh, I think we've had a, a, a good race. William Wayman also hopes for a shot. He gave us this handwritten statement after voting saying, quote, my goal is to improve the beauty and safety of Lexington. And the final candidate in this race is Skip Horan. We did reach out to him several times to find out what his plans were for the day, but we have not heard back from him yet. And a reminder, polls are open until 6 o'clock tonight. Also, if you are an independent, the, the race for mayor is nonpartisan, so you are also able to cast a vote today. Covering the news live in Lexington from the LEXAT Mobile Newsroom, back to you. And